Hey y'all, today we're going to do a Daiwa RG 1350. Should be a pretty quick video, I think, but uh, you never know. I know it does need a, a spring inside here for the anti reverse clutch, which I have. So I'm going to start by taking off this handle. We're going to work on the spool first. There's not a whole lot to work up here, but I'll show you what it looks like and how it needs to be set up in terms of uh, putting it back together so it sets properly. So we're going to unscrew that cap, I like so. You have a few pieces there. You have that washer, that plate, then you have another piece here. Kind of sticks through it like that. Clean this up, come back to you and show you how to put that back together to make sure it's lined up properly so it fits over that shaft. All right, now you can add a little bit of grease to these things. That's probably about all I'll do there. And the way it's going to sit is you have this piece going in first, just drop it in. Kind of like that but then you have that piece going just above it like that with this straddling those two points on that uh pin right there if you can see that take it out and show you a different way maybe that'll help better little prongs right there you want that straddling the pin essentially so we're just gonna stick that on there like this straddling the pin then I'm just gonna take this and flip it over versus trying to manipulate the other one and we'll just check to see if we got it or not Oh, we do, so we're good there. All right, so let's pop up the rotor and work in the veil spring and this assembly up here. I'm gonna open these three side screws up. Some things are gonna fall out here when I open this up or come out, but I'm not working on those things yet. <coughs> so I can get that screw right there and open that up. Now we can just pull this plate up, kind of like so. <coughs> and then pull the shaft out. Now we can undo that screw at the top. And then jump onto the uh, top part of this. I'll try to leave everything else intact here so you guys can just see it as I take it apart afterwards. Just kind of rock that up. A couple screws to remove, one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do all four of them. And then you have a screw here for the line roller. I'm going to loosen all these up if I can. Then we'll take them off, depending on what the flavor of the month is. All right, yeah, let's do this side first. Get the top one off first. Lift. You have your little trip arm there. Yeah, just that. Let me jump on over here and do the same thing. This one there's a spring, so be careful. <coughs> few pieces on the here so not a lot to see but still some work to do there that's that 
and that, that, and this screw here. All right, so I'm gonna clean this stuff up, come back to you, show you how to put all this stuff here together. All right, so let's go and grease certain points. Right there, where that spring is gonna sit. Might be a bit much there, but it'll work itself out. Same over here where that uh, trip arm is gonna go, and inside here. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and oil, I'm sorry, and grease. Right around there. Stick our line roller back on. I'm gonna add a little bit of grease to the inside right there. And some in the back. Kind of cover that up and then just screw it in place. Now we're not gonna go all the way down on it, but we are going to get it started. So we still want a little bit of play in this arm. We're gonna put this back together. All right, so let's go ahead and work on this side here. A little bit of grease around there. Definitely somewhere on this. And the way this is gonna sit is the <clears throat> that flat part will be, or that longer part will be facing towards the bottom. So it's gonna look just like that. And you get some grease inside that channel right there. I'm just gonna set it over it and see if it works. And it does. That's always a plus. Let's cover it up before we go any further. Let's go ahead and screw this one down. Just double check to make sure it works. Then we can take our spring, add a little bit of grease to it if we wanted to. Not something you necessarily have to do. But I do like to, to add grease to that tip little point right there that's gonna go inside the the arm. I'm gonna set that up by putting it on. That straight edge will be fitting inside the corner and like that. And I'm gonna cover this up. It's a little bit of a balancing act here. But I'd rather get it started like this than the other way around. So we're going to kind of have it there and then just kind of screw this in. Not going all the way down, but far enough is good enough. That kind of rhymed. All right, so now we can take this, make sure we have it set up properly first before we continue, which is right around there. We're going to find that hole stick that spring inside of it then we're going to kind of just rock and kind of down and in so to speak kind of like that and now we can secure this side That's flush. That looks good. We can add some grease inside here. Uh, we're going to work on the top part first, but we're going to pull pretty much all of it out either way. I'm going to pull this part off here that has a spring inside of it. And I can pull this up. And I can undo that screw there. here to get the bearing stack out. Pull up. Take 
that off. I'm not sure what this looks like. There's a space I was talking about that goes under that. Then you have the bearing and then the, <coughs> the pinion gear. Now I'm also going to do this right here because I need to add a spring to it. Okay, now I'm gonna take this main gear out. Just to have some ease of use. Uh, so I guess I might as well just take out the lock and the cross main gear as well. All right, I want to get that. Uh, this is entering back in. I'm gonna release all of it. And this right here is where the pins. I'm um, sorry, the spring is gonna sit. I'm gonna add some grease to the tip of that curved end. Stick it in through the bottom, looking like that. That's gonna make a little bit of balancing act, but it's not. It's nothing terrible, I don't think. And uh, we don't go all the way down. We might kind of be up here somewhere. Put one that inside a slot that goes through for the uh, the center lever. And see the holes on this side. It's not on the inside over here like you must expect, but it's over here on this side. So we kind of want to line that up just like that. And we're going to push down gently with our fingers and keep that down so we can put this lever back on there. Now we have a, work, a working spring again. Can you grease that up a little bit? I'm gonna open it up so I can get the uh, eccentric back on there. Just gonna drop that over just kind of like that. And then screw it in. So before we get all the way to the bottom, we're gonna add a little bit of grease. I'm sorry, a little bit of oil. Right at the top right there. Oh, they're working so in. All right, now we can add some grease to this pinion gear. That should work. Stick our bearing on there. Add some oil to it. I'm gonna kind of work the nose a little bit. Stick our spacer on there. I don't think we're gonna put any more in there right now. We're just gonna stick this inside, kind of like so. I'm gonna make sure it's flush. And it is. I'm getting this secure with these two screws that we took off. All right, now I didn't put the. I should have done that. Put the ratchet back on. I'm gonna stick it on like that. Put it through the groove. Make sure it's lined up like it should be. Which this one is. We can see it. I didn't take the spring out of here, but if I did, I know that I want the spring when I'm putting it back on, aiming in a certain direction. But the way to handle that is, one side of this um, holder here is thicker than the other. So the thicker side is facing down, thinner side is facing up. So it would look essentially like that. Like that. Stick that on, slip that spring through the gap in that tooth. Now you're set. I'm gonna put the cover on because there's nothing else for me to do here. So we're just gonna secure it and then we'll clean the rest of the rail up. All right, now since we're here, maybe more beneficial to do the bottom drag first. So let's go ahead and open that up. I'm holding on to that cap so it doesn't slip. I'll then do that screw there. That 
just come straight down. Now you're gonna have a spring inside here. I got a locking me mechanism at the same time. One up and in. That's good enough for now. Because the rest I can just work with my hand. That's the goal. I'm trying to work it out, trying to get here. side <laughs> I think you need two both two sides out but let's see if we can get it like this sometimes it just comes out right away sometimes it takes a couple shots you're gonna need both sides out so let me flick it around let's see if I can do that nope oh there we go I think we got it that time out now for this part you need to unscrew it to get it out sometimes you can just use your hand and get it off other times you'll need to use some force you have that then you have a stack inside here that's how the stack's gonna look I don't think there's anything else on there here Nope, okay. So I'll show you this, what it looks like. We'll take that off like this. Then you have a stack. One metal washer or keyed click washer. Metal eared washer, Teflon washer, keyed. And this one has two Teflon washers that go inside there. In here, there's only a spring. I'm pretty sure that's all it that was in there. Yeah, that's it. Let's clean this stuff out a little bit as well as inside here. All right, so I'll come back to you and show you how to put this stuff back together. All right, now that to get this back in, we're going to stick some grease around here. That little short piece will be facing up. Stick inside. Now, uh, some grease inside there as well. And I'm going to take my clear gear. Stick that on, just like that. Take the washer, stick it on, and I'm gonna add some oil to it. But for everything else, I didn't add anything. I just cleaned it off. And that should work. Now I'm gonna try to do it all in one piece, <laughs> as you can tell. So let's go ahead and stick that on there. I'm just kind of rotating this until it sits in place. Like it just did right there. I want those two little tabs lined up. If it's not lined up, it's not the end of the world. I just gotta kind of keep working at it. And I'm also gonna add some grease in those threads inside there. So nothing really gets frozen. All right, let's see if we can do it. Upside down. Yeah, like that. I think we got another first shot. It's pretty good. I think we did. Yep, we did. Awesome. All right, so now we can take this piece, put our plastic piece back in. I only cleaned this off. I didn't put anything else on it. And we're just going to screw that in. I'm going to screw it all the way up to the top. Those little four points, we need to line up on these holes inside that cover. Kind of squeeze this, like so, and push through. And I think we are good there. All right, so let's find this. 
It's a little tab where you want to be careful of. That needs to fit on the inside. So just kind of cover over it kind of like this. And just start turning to see if I can find that, uh, that pin location. Right there. Now we can screw that in. Remember to hold on to the uh, this shaft right here. Try that handle right there. So it doesn't go slipping on you. Alright, so let's go ahead and grease inside there where that bushing is going to go. Around there where the plate sits. It's on the edge right there. I think that's it. Alright, let's go ahead and add a little bit of grease inside here also. That's on the other side on the side cover. Let's take our first bearing inside. You don't need to add grease to these things. I'm not saying you can't, just don't have to. Grease this cross wing gear. Just gonna drop that in place like that, with that point facing towards the bottom somewhere. Same thing for the block. A decent amount of grease inside that channel right there. A light coating around the rest of it. That should work. Now I'm gonna drop this on. Kind of looking like that. Now we can take our shaft and stick that through. Add some grease to the bottom part here. Kind of where that goes inside the housing. If you want to, you can grease the entire thing. I really don't always do that. I'm just going to stick this through. Find a hole for it. And there we are. For the most part. Okay, there we go. Now we can take this piece and reattach that. Just gonna drop it over looking like this. And rotating down. Then secure it with that screw. Before we go any further, and so I don't forget I'm gonna add some grease to the holes right here where those screws are gonna go. All right, and let's go ahead and grease the uh, main gear. And as you see me doing here is what you'd be doing yourself. I'm not putting a huge amount of grease on here, but I am putting a, enough. And I'm trying to also make sure, make sure I uh, grease this entire surface area. I'm just going to drop that in. Alright, so my apologies, you can't do it with the gear in. I'm sorry with this shaft in, so we're going to back that out. And let's pretend like it wasn't even there. That's not like fun. I'm going to take about to right there. Not the entire way. Stick that in. Block going right through. Line that where I wanted. And put it back on. Alright, now we can stick this washer on there. All with this bushing. And then just kind of cover it up. Make sure there's nothing we're missing. And we are not. Like I said, they're all the same size, so you can put them wherever. The last thing for us to do would be the handle. I'm going to add some oil to right here. 
a little bit to there. And a couple of drops of oil here. This is going to be an oil day, not a, not a grease day. But I'm going to grease those threads where this gear is going to go into the main gear. I'm sorry, this handle will go inside the main gear. All right, so let's go ahead and put this together. Do a quick double check on this to make sure it all sounds acceptable. You know the handle works already because we tried it. And it still does. See how this feels? It works. Seems like it's what it should be doing. Let's check the bill clip. Definitely works nice. There's the anti reverse. Anti reverse is off. Alright, cool. Alright, guys, if you found the video useful, please hit that thumbs up button. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. For real? Thought I had this right. Bombo Clatis. Bombo Clatis. Bombo Clatis. Can't see.